Imagine if you could save a critically endangered species using just empty jam jars and hummus pots. Well, today on RZSS Goes Wild, we're going to show you how we're doing exactly that. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't heard of the animal we're talking about today. It's one of the smallest and rarest species that we're trying to protect at RZSS, and it's so rare, the adult form of this species hasn't been seen in the wild for over seven years. Meet the pine hoverfly, an important pollinator that is currently restricted to just one site in the UK, which just happens to be in the Cairngorms National Park, very close to our Highland Wildlife Park site. This amazing insect might have the cutest larvae around. We can tell them apart from other hoverfly species because of their adorable moustache. Unfortunately, the ancient pine forests the species relies on are disappearing, taking the pine hoverfly with them. RZSS is part of an effort to save pine hoverfly in the UK. Our role in the project is conservation breeding. We're trying to boost the numbers of this species so that hopefully, eventually, we can start releasing them back into the wild. But breeding this species in captivity is no picnic. Like many insects, pine hoverflies have several life stages and each stage has its own habitat requirements. We rear our mustachioed larvae in jam jars filled with pine sawdust and water. As the larvae pupate, they move up into moss at the top of the jar, which we take out and put into those empty hummus pots. Once the adult flies emerge, they are transferred into flight cages where hopefully they'll mate so that the females can lay lots of eggs and we can start all over again and make lots more pine hoverfly. All of this work is carried out by our amazing zookeepers at Highland Wildlife Park in the Cairngorms. This is Vicky, the head keeper at Highland Wildlife Park and the leader of the pine hoverfly breeding team. This is where our larvae live, so they're kept in these little jars. Once a week, they examine all the jars and have a look to see how many larvae are in each, checking that they're all still alive, growing and healthy. We're into April now, and this is the time of year when the larvae will start to pupate. And when they do, as I said before, they'll move up into this uh, moss plug at the top. So, uh, so once a week now, we have a look at these moss plugs to see if we've got any uh, larvae that are turning into pupae. So um, let's take a look. We have uh, a pine hoverfly pupae, so just moved up into the moss. So this one we're going to take out of the jar now. And he's going to move into his hummus pot where he'll stay there for about a month and then um, and then in about a month he will emerge into a pine hoverfly. Exciting stuff! Last year we had a great success, we uh, bred them. Only the second time ever this has happened in captivity so, uh, so it's a really exciting project and uh, we hope to keep you updated uh, with this in the future. Keepers like Vicky are working hard through the lockdown to look after all of our animals at both of our zoos, including pine hoverfly. Our conservation team is also working hard to try and make sure that all of our projects can continue throughout this time of crisis. You can help protect both the little guys like pine hoverflies and the big guys like beavers and wildcats by clicking the link below and donating whatever you can to help support our conservation work. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in next time when we'll be traveling over to Brazil to have a look at our work supporting giant armadillos and giant anteaters. I will see you then.